what happens to housing when there's a recession? Since the 2008 housing bubble burst, the word recession hits home more than it really ever has before. You know, even though there's some debate right now around whether we're officially in a recession or not, the good news is experts are saying that a recession today would likely be mild and the economy would rebound pretty quickly. All right, as the 2022 CEO outlook from KPMG says, Global CEOs see a mild and short recession, yet optimistic about global economy over a three-year horizon. More than eight out of 10 anticipate a recession over the next 12 months, with more than half expecting it to be mild and short. To add to that sentiment, housing is typically one of the first sectors to rebound during a slowdown. As Ali Wolf, chief economist at Zona explains, Housing is traditionally one of the first sectors to slow as the economy shifts, but is also one of the first to rebound. Part of that rebound is tied to what has historically happened uh, to mortgage rates during recessions. Here's a look back at rates during previous economic slowdowns to help put your mind at ease. Mortgage rates typically fall during recessions. Historical data helps paint the picture of how a recession could impact the cost of financing a home. Looking at recessions in this country, going back all the way to 1980, the graph below shows each time the economy slowed down, mortgage rates decreased. Fortune explains mortgage rates typically fall during the economic slowdown. Over the past five recessions, mortgage rates have fallen an average of 1.8 percentage points from the peak seen during the recession to the trial. And in many cases, they continue to fall after the fact, as it takes some time to, you know, to turn things around, even when the recession is technically over. So while history doesn't always repeat itself, we can learn from and find comfort in the trends of what's happened in the past. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, you can make the best decision by working with a trusted real estate professional. That way you have expert advice on what a recession could mean for the housing market. The bottom line, well, history shows you don't need to fear the word recession when it comes to the, you know, the housing market. If you have questions about what's happening today, let's connect. So you have an ex, so you have expert advice and insight you can trust. I'm Tony Garen with Remax Left Professionals Guaranteed.com results that move you. I'll see you around.